welcome back to another vlog today is friday the day is winding down it's evening time i've been working all day long um i have a little project that i've been working on for a client of mine so i've been doing work for that doing work for myself and just running around all day long so i'm finally done with that so i wanted to pick up the camera and start another vlog i am about to make some candles i'm really excited about it i put on my little cozy lounge fit for the evening so i just have this two-piece set on from i think i got this from boohoo y'all know i get everything from boohoo got this from boohoo i'm pretty sure and then this sweater is also from boohoo so i just put this little ensemble on to get in the cozy mood because i do want to do the candle project and then this weekend i want to put up my fall decorations so that's what i'm going to do and then later on tonight i also want to watch my first fall movie of the season so let me show y'all how I'm gonna go about making these candles. Okay, so here's what you'll need for this project. I told y'all that I got these containers from the Dollar Tree, y'all, and I'm pretty sure they were like a dollar or maybe a dollar fifty. I know for sure they were under five dollars for sure. So I got these from the Dollar Tree. I have my glue gun and glue sticks because I want to attach the wick to the bottom before I start pouring the wax. I just feel like it'll be easier that way. And then I have the natural soy wax. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link all the stuff that I got or link all the stuff that I can link um, in the description box if y'all want to make your own candles. But I did pick this up from Amazon. I'm going to make a like pumpkin spice candle and then I'm going to make my own little concoction and I want to do like a fall citrus candle so I'm going to use cinnamon and some essential oils I'm just going to test it out this is my own concoction but the first recipe the pumpkin spice candle recipe is one that I got off of Pinterest so I'll let y'all know like how it turns out and if you do want to add color to your candles you can drop a crayon in there if you want to make it like an orange candle or a red candle or whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to melt the rest of this down. Y'all, this is like my favorite fall candle from Bath & Body Works. It's Harvest Pomegranate. And I still have a little bit left in the bottom. So I'm going to melt this and pour I'm going to melt this, add more wax to it, and then pour this in one of the candles so I can like just use the rest of what's in there and then um the other two are going to be the pumpkin spice and then the fall citrus candle so y'all all right so i'm trying to film a short at the same time so i'm just going to put a little bit of glue at the bottom the wax kit comes with these clips to hold the wick in place while you're pouring the uh, the wax i don't know why they give you three different types but I'm just going to put this on. I don't really need to since I glued it down so they're not going anywhere. But I'm going to just do it anyway for effect. <laughs> I'm melting the wax. I put two cups of the flakes in a measuring cup and put that inside of boiling water. You can also just melt the wax directly in a pot. You don't have to put it. You don't have to do this setup. But I'm just doing this because I, I know I'm not going to feel like cleaning out this pot. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm melting this and then I'm going to add my seasoning to this before I pour it in. All right, so the wax has melted. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna whisk that together. It smells so good, y'all. My only concern is that I may not have enough to do both candles. <gasps> I don't think I'll have enough. Let me see, let me see if I can finesse it. <gasps> Oh, y'all, just enough. Just enough for these last two candles. This one here in the back I did first. This is the Bath & Body Works one. And it took about three hours for it to set up. 
So I'm gonna let these sit overnight and then I'll light them tomorrow, but it smells really good. So I'm curious to see if it'll be as strong as a Bath and Body Works candle. So I'll let y'all know tomorrow. way into Walmart. I gotta pick up a few things for this weekend. I stayed up way too late watching movies last night. So I watched Brown Sugar and then I watched um, this movie called To Catch a Thief. Y'all, that was really good. And I'm surprised that that's never come across my radar. But it's called To Catch a Thief. If that's not the title, I'll put the title on the screen. But it was really, really good. So I would recommend that if you're into like true crime, dark, serial killer <laughs> all that kind of stuff that's a good movie but um yeah after that i knocked out woke up i was tossing and turning all night so i didn't get a good night's sleep but i knew that i needed to wake up early to take my butt over here to go to walmart because y'all know i don't like especially walmart i don't know what it is about walmart specifically but i despise going to walmart in the middle of the day i have to tackle walmart either when they first open super early in the morning or later in the evening because walmart for whatever reason just be a little too rowdy for my liking and you too many people up in there and i be like low-key like hyperventilating i don't know what it is like walmart just be getting me like in a mood like i just be like trying to get in and out so woke up early to go to walmart because i needed to pick up a couple more things that i needed for groceries and I'm going to a pool party tomorrow. So, and she said to bring snacks. She's providing the alcohol and she told us to bring the food. And I'm like, girl, there is no alcohol without the food. So <laughs> I'm just bringing like a little, I saw this idea on Pinterest where people pour water into the bottom of a pan. And then you put the pans that have the items in it on top of that. Um, so that everything can stay cold. So I got the stuff for that. And I'm just going to do um, some fruit. I just got some strawberries. And I'm going to make some deviled eggs. And that's my contribution. And um, my friend DL. Y'all know DL. She's coming as well. So she's going to be my plus one. So she's coming. And she's going to bring like chips and dip. So it should be fun. It's a little end of summer. Labor Day weekend pool party situation. So yeah. That's what we're doing today. Um, I might go to the movies. Because I know equalizer three came out and gotta support denzel so um i might go i might not i'm not sure but today i just want to do some cleaning and put up my fall decorations and all of that good stuff i just picked up a few things that i needed so i got some cheese colby jack and why does my screen not focus Kobe Jack and cheddar. I got some bacon. I picked up two cans of pumpkin puree. One is for this pumpkin French toast recipe that I wanna make. And then the other one is to make pumpkin spice syrup for coffee. And then I got these tortilla strips to go over the soup that I'm making. I'm making a chicken enchilada soup this week for dinner. I got some heavy whipping cream for coffee. Got some milk, strawberries, bell pepper, cilantro, frozen corn for the recipe, eggs, and then the aluminum trays I was just telling y'all about 
And then I picked up some candies to go inside my jars for my fall decor. So that's all I got from Walmart, y'all. Just a few things that I needed to get. So let me put this stuff away. Um, oh, and let me put it away and let me show y'all what I did with my coffee station. Y'all saw me put my coffee station together in the last vlog and I was playing around and I added my cup tower back over here and then I also added my lazy Susan that I forgot was in my cabinet so I added this over here so this whole area is like coffee central <laughs> so my plan is to put um like a cute basket or something on top of this and this is where I'll put my syrups and coffee toppers and straws and stirs and all that fun stuff like all the little fun toppings to put in the coffee and i think i'm gonna leave it here i don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing but i'm for sure going to leave this here during the holidays for all my little drinks so yeah i love the way that this looks and i'm not really concerned about the lazy susan taking up counter space because i don't really use this counter for anything else outside of like making coffee and drinks and stuff like that and then up here y'all know this is my mug cabinet so up here i need to i need to organize it because what i want to do is get some kind of organizer or something like that to put all this little stuff in like the syrups and coffee stuff and then i put my kettle in this cabinet too once it's like dried out so um so yeah i'm gonna do something with this cabinet but this is what it looks like so far so yeah i'm really really excited about my little coffee station situation but let me go ahead and take a shower get myself ready for the day um yes i did wake up straight out of bed this morning like don't judge me okay <laughs> i did not take a shower to go to walmart because it's humid and it's hot and i already knew i was going to be hot so I'm about to take my shower, get myself together, do a little bit of cleaning. So I'm going to do that. So I'll pick y'all up in a second. my book i will let y'all know how i'm liking it probably in the next vlog or so i'm still trying to immerse myself into it so i'll keep y'all posted but i did read some of my book it's so nice to have a moment to sit down and read and invest my time in a new hobby like reading opposed to watching tv or scrolling on youtube or tiktok or you know what i mean so that was a really nice break but Got my face on, shower, got myself together, and I'm about to put up my fall decor. Y'all, I took out what I had last night, and I don't know why in my head I thought I had like this full fall decor collection, because I definitely do not. So I'm gonna put out what I have, and then I made my candles last night, so um, I'm gonna put those around the house. But yeah, I still need a few more fall. I don't need, let me not say that. I don't need because decor is not a need. But I want to do a few more things when it comes to the fall decor because y'all, this is all I have. Four pumpkins and some candles. <laughs> and in my head, I thought I had like, y'all know how like my Christmas 
collection is. I thought in my head that my fall collection was like that, but it's not. So yeah, I'm just gonna put together what I have and then um, maybe tomorrow or sometime next week, I'll go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and see what they have. Okay, so this is what I have for fall decor, just some pumpkins, some candles. Y'all, the candles I made last night turned out so cute. I made a little, um, well, I filmed a video because I wanna put together a short to post next week. So I did cut the wigs and I burned them for the video. But y'all, so freaking cute. I love this. I'm definitely gonna do this like next year because this was such a fun project and I can create different scents. So if you're needing something to do that's like budget friendly, that will get you in the fall mood, I would definitely do that. But yeah, this is what I have. Pillows, pumpkins, candles, and I'm gonna put together the little trail mix and put that in the jar and I'll probably put that in the kitchen. So let me just put together what I have and then I'm gonna put my doormat out in the front. And I know that at some point I wanna get some flowers to put in this vase. Isn't this so cute y'all? My friend DL got this for me. So this was like my first official housewarming gift. So um, I wanna put some flowers in there and put a couple candles here. Um, just do something cute with that, but I don't have that right now, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. But yeah, let me see what I can do. All right, operation fall decor is complete. I just need to, like I said, over time, meaning this month, October, November, I will continue to add to what I have. But that's it, y'all. That's all I have, so that's all we're doing, okay? And I feel, I feel cozy. I think part of my issue is the fact that I still don't have a lot of furniture, y'all. I have come to realize that your girl has expensive taste. It's like anything that I see, with the exception of maybe a few things here and there, are expensive. Like everything that I like, $500, $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 for one item. So that's like, that's why it's taking so long. Because for instance, in the living room, I want to put up these shelves that I saw on Ikea. The shelves are $300 each and I need three of them. And in my mind, I'm like $300, like I could spend $900. I'm like, I could spend that on other things. You know what I mean? So that's part of the hold up with my decor. Stuff is expensive y'all and I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. So 
like I said, it's going to, it'll come together when it's time for it to come together. My goal is to have at least this front area fully furnished and decorated before the holidays, like before Christmas. But like I said, I am taking my time getting pieces one piece at a time. I'm not in a rush. I'm not trying to keep up with nobody. And that's another thing that was like on my heart while I was um, decorating and stuff. Like, please don't feel obligated to do anything for fall. Like, cause I know, you know, fall hits and everyone's in this season and everyone's going to Starbucks and buying pumpkin spice lattes and decorating their homes. And that's all you see on Instagram. And I know sometimes it can feel a little overwhelming or feeling like you need to buy this or do this or go here in order to get in the fall mood or to have the fall aesthetic. You do not, y'all. You do not have to go out here and do that. If you don't want to do any fall decorating, that is totally fine. Whatever the whole point of, to me, the fall aesthetic, the cozy aesthetic it's for you to do things that make you feel cozy and relaxed and comfortable in your home or comfortable in whatever environment you're in. So if that means doing something like reading a book or going for a walk or making a nice meal or just cuddling up and looking out the window, whatever, I don't know y'all, whatever y'all do to feel cozy, do that. Like don't always feel like you're obligated to buy, buy, buy in do 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 because that's not that's not realistic that's not life for most people so um i did want to say that because when i was decorating i was like man like i don't have like the stuff that i wanted to have and i thought i was going to be able to do this and do that and i'm like the whole point of this season is to be grateful and y'all i am so grateful rent is paid car payments paid car insurance is paid got money in the bank got food in the refrigerator got gas in my car my family is well i have my friends they're well i am blessed i am grateful so i feel like going into the season and going to the holidays let's have that mindset of just being grateful for the things that we do have because nowadays making sure that your household is running and you have your necessities is enough and that's enough to be grateful for so that's all i had to say y'all but i'm about to relax for a second and i'm behind on my emails respond to some emails and then later on tonight i'm going to fix this recipe that i saw um by the way those hash browns were not it it tastes the hash browns taste like fish i don't know what that was about but yeah, I'm not putting that recipe up because that was a dud. So I'm gonna have to, whenever I fix another like hash brown or hash brown casserole recipe and it's good, I'll post it. But I'm not posting that one because it was, it tastes very off and I follow the directions. But I am making a chicken enchilada soup tonight and it's from Divas Can Cook. So I'm hoping that it'll be a good recipe. So I'll pick y'all back up when I make that.
I weighed in this morning and I don't know if this is accurate or not. So I'm saying this, but I'm like, I gotta weigh again tomorrow to confirm. But apparently I'm down seven pounds or seven additional pounds. So in total, I'm down eight pounds. So if that's the case, then okay. But I placed my scale in a different spot this morning and I placed it in the usual spot and it still said like seven to nine pounds down. So we're doing something right. That made my morning because the past couple of days, the scale hasn't really been moving too much. But y'all, I'm about to get ready to go to church. I um, made a little fruit salad situation and some devil eggs for the pool party later today. So I made that and put that in the fridge. And um, when I get back, I'm just gonna change my outfit and head over to Brittany's. So that's all we're doing today. Um, today is first Sunday, so I'm assuming they're gonna have communion. And um, the first Sunday of every month, they start a new series. So I'll let y'all know when I get out. If there's anything I wanna share about what he talks about today. But yeah, I really like this church. I really like this church. I've told my friends about it too. Um, I really like it a lot. So I do think that I will become a member of the church, but I just, I just wanna go a few more times before I confirm. But so far so good y'all. And I like it because like, you know those churches that have like the dim lights, like they have the dim lights and it's, it's a whole mood. So I love that. I'm just wearing my jumpsuit, um, this green jumpsuit and my heels. Outfit of the day, just this green jumpsuit that I got from Boohoo in my clear heels. I'm gonna bring my sweater just in case it gets cold in there. But yeah, this is what we're doing. So let me get down the road. <laughs> was such a good message y'all i was oh i was tearing up on some parts i was tearing up during worship because y'all just feel so good just to be in just to be in his presence i don't know what it is but my sister will tell you every time i go to church i just start like especially during praise and worship my eyes just like water up because with this church and even my sister's church that I used to go to their praise and worship is not how it's not like the praise and worship that I grew up listening to where it's like praise him praise him it's not like that it's more calm and the words just hit home for me every single time y'all so I be in church like Lord because you just feel so unworthy of God's grace and his love so it was such a good service but y'all i have a whole page full of notes like whoo it was so good so the series is called sermon on the mount and in today's lesson he was just talking about our hearts and our minds and the actions of our hearts and our minds and the fact that we need to continually examine ourselves he gave the example of feeding the homeless and on the outside other people watching you may say oh she's a good person because she does this and this and this but on the inside is your heart in the right place are you doing this to truly give or are you doing this for selfish reasons and he was just saying that god not only examines our outer man but our inner man as well so some of the scriptures i wrote down that he was talking about or preaching from was matthew 5 20 genesis 6 5 um a note that i wrote down was as if there's some safety in the privacy of our thoughts because you know we tend to think oh like you know i didn't act on my thoughts but you still thought those thoughts you know what i'm saying just because you didn't pop off on somebody or respond and argue with somebody if your thoughts are impure that's still just as bad as acting on those thoughts and so um he was also preaching from James 1, 13 through 15. And the quote that I wrote to paraphrase was, desire gives birth to sin and sin gives birth to death. Jeremiah 17, 9 through 10 paraphrase, the Lord searches our hearts and minds to reward us according to our conduct. Matthew 12, 34 through 35, the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Luke 18, 9 through 14, for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. And he was talking about being poor in spirit and understanding that we are bankrupt and Jesus is our banker who has all the resources we could ever need. Y'all, he was just going on and on and on. And it was just, it was a really good message. 
and um at the end of the sermon he said um at the end of the sermon he was like you know my job as a pastor is to make sure that you always recognize that you need Jesus like you need him and y'all that was just so good because we do need him I don't care where you're at in life if you're where you want to be or if you're not we we all fall short and we need him every single day every single day um so it was just a really good message so I'm on my way back home to change and pick up the food for the pool party DL got sick last night so she's not gonna make it so um yeah I'm gonna just pop in and pop out like I'm not really I wasn't really trying to go <laughs> Like, I didn't really want to go to the pool party, but, um, but I'm just going to show my face and attend because Brittany always be coming to my stuff, so I need to support other people. Um, but it's a really nice day. I'm surprised because it was kind of gloomy this morning, so it's really nice. So this is the perfect day to have, like, a end of summer pool party situation. Part of me wants to stop and get something to eat, but I'm not going to do it because I have food at the house. And I think the reason I'm just feeling a little on edge is because I didn't bring my Stanley cup with my water. So I feel a little dry, a little empty. But I'm just gonna keep heading home, keep my eye on the prize, and be good because I do not need to be going to McDonald's. Because I really, what I want to do is to go to McDonald's and get the number six combo fish filet with a sweet tea but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> but anyway y'all let me go home and get changed and I'll check in with y'all later this is what I put together just a little fruit salad situation with some pineapple strawberries and grapes and some devil eggs I don't think the cover will snap but It'll at least cover the food. So, so it's a win-win. This is what I'm wearing. I know I'm not finna go in the pool, so I just put on this. Um, I, it's a four-piece set that I got from, I think, Boohoo. And it has the cover up the bandeau, matching shorts, and then a little head wrap to go with it. So I just have on the cover up and the bandeau and my flowy pants with my sandals. So this is what I'm gonna wear. Just super comfortable and chill. Cause like I said, I ain't getting in no water today. So we are just gonna keep it cute and simple. I'm bringing the snacks, so that's my contribution. So yeah, let me get out of here y'all.